old stores, fading signs, disappearing landmarks, and finally, art and music of some of the people you'd find along the Atchafalaya River. You might expect that we would end our journey here in Morgan City as we head toward the Gulf, but even here, where the water is sometimes indistinguishable from the land's end, we can find perhaps one more story in our search for lost Louisiana if we'll just listen carefully enough. Among the soft winds and sweep of small waves across Ile Jean Charles, there's another timeless sound. It's Wenceslas Billyot building a boat. I don't know, I don't like the fiberglass, but uh, I like to build my own. <laughs> That's something I, I'd rather build something my own than buy a, buy a fiberglass. Even if it's higher, even if it's twice higher the price, I had to build my own. Need to be sand down. Needless to say, his plans exist only in his head. Needless to say, he learned to shape wood some 50 years ago. At 72, Wenceslas Billyot is, needless to say, one of a vanishing breed. A man who places importance on doing things himself, doing things right, even if it takes a longer time, even if it is harder. A lot of people move away when they get old enough. They, they move from here. Not oh, the I, old people. Not the old people. Yeah. No. Billyot built his house the and fear. shed and an uncounted number of these unusual pirogues. They have a curved bottom. Most Cajun's gifts are flat bottom, but his are bowed, the better to slip over the muddy marsh bottom. You can go in the mud, which you can, uh, you can uh, slide better in the mud. Slide. Yeah. You slide sideways too, you Yeah, could. you can slide sideways. Because this is going this right. way, and it's going right. this way. Does and that then, make, uh, is, that, is that better for, for Yeah, to make it turn, to, right. to turn around. All right. Then if you got flat bottom, you're going to stuck. And then you won't be able to turn nowhere around. It's on, slick. Yeah, it's sticking there. It's the sport car model. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that bow in his boat lets it slip free. It's a better design. If you'll wander all the way down the Atchafalaya and over to Ile de Jean Charles, you'll understand the value in taking your time. Down here, there's a lot of time to understand that. Some people say, oh, you put too many, too much snail in there. So when you want to break that, it's going to all come out by piece. I, said, I, did, I didn't uh, build that to break it. Yes, exactly. I, I build that to stay. That's right, that's right. That's about what you'll see along the Atchafalaya in a day or so. What remains of this day is a sigh that Louisiana can hold so many simple wonders. <laughs>